Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. First of all, I want to wish you all a happy new year and the best wishes for 2024. Now let's continue with your love reading. This is a general one and it may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does, there's an extended in the description box below. Let's start. First, let's shuffle five times the deck. Okay, so what is at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Cups. This is what is affecting you in your subconscious. You have feelings here. Your feelings are real, deep, powerful. You were so emotionally connected to this connection and situation. And that not going the right direction is what is affecting your... Uh, happiness it is causing you disappointment that it didn't go that way or that they were not much real to you but what was the challenge in fact queen of swords this person was acting quite cold were very logical mostly logical and not very vulnerable towards you may have acted harsh with their words or didn't know how to make a comment or make a compliment hurting feelings but most importantly they may have cut off the connection completely without thinking it twice it was so easy it felt so easy for them to give up now how do you view this situation look at this they were cold and detached you were loving and uh, real towards them. How do you view this situation? You still want to believe in the power of commitment, of sharing the same goals and values, but it is not easy. Even if it goes that way or the road, the path to commitment with them is a path with dramas and heaviness and not easy at all. You think about that, you think about communication or trying again to build a stronger bridge, but you don't like the dramas. Some of you had a really important connection and may have had created family together. And you think about that and you want to save that uh, marriage and that family, but it seems difficult. You want to avoid this energy of moving step by step in a slow process like it seems like forever and where the progress is very little your hope is that your next connection will bring you much more happiness balance satisfaction will be really harmonious your fear is that this person may cause you sadness worries and disappointment again that is your fear about reconnecting with a person from the past. Now let's see about the current energies. Ace of Cups. This is a very good energy. There's a new love offer here to you. It seems to me like new, but with lots of overflowing love. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Overflowing with attention, love, care it seems to me like this is too emotional as well this person has real feelings here deep powerful feelings look at what do i have at the bottom of the deck soulmate connection this is a soulmate connection you are around the soulmate now you may have started communicating with this person or you will start communicating but this is really important and this seems to me like it will last not only be loving and um, emotional in a good way but stable this seems like this will last 
and this will impact you in a good way very soon. Let's see at the bottom. Chariot, Ten of Pentacles. You may build something long term with this person. Maybe an empire together. There will be movement, progress, very fast movement. Even though there are so some minor differences here and there, the connection will go forward. I have Gemini. I have another water sign, maybe another Pisces Cancer or Scorpio, maybe another Scorpio or Pisces Cancer or Gemini have Cancer emphasized here. They will bring much more stability in your love life. That is a very great energy and it is around you, it is near you. I want to see one other card. Why the Ace of Cups? King of Wands. This person seems mature. And with lots of attraction. Not only love for you. But the passion, attraction is very, very strong. Now let's see about the person on your mind. Let's see what kind of thoughts, energies do they have towards you at this moment? Let's shuffle the deck for them three more times. At the bottom they do have the Wheel of Fortune. Why the Wheel of Fortune? Some of you were dealing with a fixed sign. A fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio and Taurus. Maybe another Scorpio. So Scorpio is emphasized or they have so much Scorpio placements in their chart. The Wheel of Fortune, Four of Wands Reverse, Two of Cups. They see this as, this as a broken connection, but they want to be with you, Two of Cups. They want to say hi. They want to open a new chapter here, a better chapter with you. Look at this, Ten of Cups. This person wants to make it right. They want long-term heavy commitment with you. Why the Four of Wands reversed? Four of Pentacles. The only thing that is resisting them is that ending or the connection may not be stable and happy. They want to say hi and talk to you. They know it's not easy. It's not easy to restart that connection. But they, they are waiting to do something, to see some progress. They want to be optimistic, even though they have so much pessimism inside themselves and are guarded. And this is because of the history of the past. They want to be and feel more optimistic about the future of the situation. They want you both to write together a new, better chapter. Eight of Wands. Communication, traveling and meeting you, maybe talking online, or them traveling and meeting you. Rapid communication. There's so much work and energy that they are trying to gather in order to talk to you. Look at this. Strength, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, they have been so stuck in their head. If they will talk, they want to do that. They have been silent or the communication has been very little. It will be a gigantic effort for them. Because deep inside they feel insecure. But they want to be optimistic about the future of this. Anyway, if this reading resonated, with you. I want to continue this in the extended with more details about this person 
and uh, I want to view about their feelings, their intentions, their energies, how do they view you and so on. I want to view about this energy. I'm not exactly sure if this is a completely new connection or it is this person from the past that wants a new beginning with you. There's a new connection, a loving one here with this King of Wands and Ace of Cups, Water and Fire here. But I want to see what is the advice for you towards this connection, this new connection, this soulmate connection. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.